racist Seahawks player protesting anthem just made sick demand of all whites at his games. We're barely into football season, and racist anti-American football players are already up to their antics. Not learning their lesson after witnessing Colin Kaepernick's football career completely destroyed last season, Seahawks defensive end Michael Bennett has been leading the latest string of protests. But startlingly, Bennett has much bigger plans for disrespecting our country other than just sitting the bench for the national anthem, with what he's demanding all white people to do at his games. Protesting the anthem is a slap in the face for every single American soldier who has fought, bled and died for this country. While it's these players' right under the First Amendment to protest the flag they ridiculously view as a symbol of oppression, that doesn't mean their actions come without consequence. Michael Bennett has benefited immensely from country he vows to keep protesting, as he's able to pursue his dreams of being a millionaire football star. Bennett just signed a $30 million dollar contract with the Seahawks, but still somehow feels oppressed as a black man living in America. While protesting is his God-given right as a citizen in this country, Bennett isn't simply satisfied with sitting silently on the bench. Ever eager for more media attention that his anti-American actions bring him, he's now demanding that all white players on the team join his protests too. It would take a white player to really get things changed, Bennett said Wednesday on ESPN's SC6, because when somebody from the other side understands and they step up and they speak up about it, it would change the whole conversation. Because when you bring somebody who doesn't have to be a part of, the, conversation making himself vulnerable in front of it, I think when that happens, things will really take a jump. But Bennett's plans to influence other demographics to join his anti-American circus doesn't end there. In the same interview, he expressed his intentions of setting his sights on children too, as he views them as a group of Americans he can easily influence, aka indoctrinate, and pass on his hatred for our country too. Instead of just inspiring them to be athletes, we can inspire them to be change makers, Bennett said. What's even more disturbing is how the NFL is not only supporting this behavior, but bashing the fans for their ongoing outrage over these racist players' protests. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell had the opportunity several days ago to condemn these actions, but put the problem on the fans who are furious about it, rather than punishing the athletes who are abusing their platforms calling for Americans to be more understanding of what they are trying to say with their protests, Freedom Daily's Amanda Shea previously reported. New York Daily News reports. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell says football fans should be more understanding when players protest the national anthem. During a Q&A session with Cardinals season ticket holders, Goodell was asked if he believes protests are going to be another problem this season. It's one of those things where we have to understand that there are people who have different viewpoints, Goodell said via ESPN. It's something that I think everybody wants. The national anthem is a special moment for me. It's a point of pride. That is a really important moment but we also have to understand the other side, that people do have rights, and we want to respect those. Sadly. Many blacks in this country have been brainwashed by morons like Barack Obama and Al Shepperton and other black leaders who continue to demonize whites and police officers, as these idiots will continue to rise in political prominence and cash in on their little manufactured race war. Race relations in this country are now at an all-time low, thanks to the race-baiting antics of Obama who used his platform to drum up anti-American sentiments like this country has never seen before. The NFL League has invested quite a bit of money into falsely presenting themselves as patriotic organization over the years, only to have it destroyed by these spoiled and racist millionaire NFL players who want to use the football field to whine about their oppression. If these morons want to continue to bring politics into America's favorite pastime, it's only going to rub salt in the racial wounds that Obama ripped of and even further. It's time to give these NFL players the message that this behavior won't be tolerated, and they can protest America all day long in an empty stadium.